Terry's pocket. I got very, very six, the color teriyaki. I'm on another way, cut the head off the porch. Running with a pack of wolves, they know a story. He meant Chandler Wolves too, for the record. <laughs> All right, so East Valley, we have arrived. Uh, your boy Chili, you already know what it is. Make sure you subscribe, justchili.tv. We got the Cody vs. Chili tour. Uh, this year's Cody's about to get run over by this car. Um, kind of like the way Chris Jackson was running over cats. Ooh, ooh, last kinda year. Kind of, you, you see what I did there? Last year, I like you, that. You, you I see like what I did over there? But anyways, we are here to check out the Jack Rapids from Mesa High. We're gonna get to catch up with Coach Sikahema, uh, catch out with the super athlete, Eddie McClendon, and catch up with Mox, and I want to find out who the running back that's going to take over for Jackson is going to be. Um, we'll be right back. It's hot. It's like a healthy like 103 well, outside. You always said, man, you love the humidity. And here we nah, are. <laughs> I hate the humidity. It's like it's at least like 90% humidity right now. How excited are you about the upcoming season? I know you're coming off two four-win seasons. Uh, what can we all expect? Well, you know, like when the box, you know, get your popcorn and. Uh, Let's see what we have in store. But I'm excited. I'm excited for our new kids coming in and the kids that we have now. And we got some great coaches and great kids. And I'm excited. Speaking of new kids, uh, how and who is going to replace Mr. 2000 Yards, Chris Jackson? You know what? That's going to be, uh, we're still in the works of seeing who's going to be there to uh, um, replace him. But it's going to be more of a committee. Uh, we might have to bring a few uh, D linemen to play running back just to help us out there. So. But that's what we do over here. And, and, and talk to me about this super athlete that you got here, uh, Eddie McClendon. Uh, strong safety. Uh, I heard that you're going to move him around. I heard he's going to be floating around playing some uh, outside backer. Uh, are we going to be seeing that much of him all over the field? You know, I think so. I mean, he's going to be doing some kick return, punt return, you know, offense, defense. You know, he's going to be our head cheerleader. He does uh, a lot of things to uh, make us happy. So I'm just uh, excited to see what he's going to do this year. And what about your specialty? The, the line, the trenches, uh, you know, we're gonna be, be big up front. Is Mesa High gonna bring back that glory by dominating the trenches? How, how's this gonna work? You know what? Um, we're gonna have a little coconut line pretty soon. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what they can do. So we have a lot of expectations of, uh, of our coconuts over here, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. They know about some holes for some folks, so I'm excited. Got it. This season, last season, we got six picks. Uh, this year, you can expect a faster, stronger Eddie McClendon. I'm um, going to be coming to hit this year. That's why I moved down into the box from free safety. So, And I want to talk about that a little bit because um, I heard that you're going to be floating all over this defense of maybe playing some linebacker. And, you know, just like I was saying about Sawaros, Connor Soley, I kind of think you're a triple-double threat. Maybe you get 10 sacks. 10 tackles for loss, 10 interceptions. Yeah, totally. is, is that possible? Is, yeah, it, that's, 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 is that realistic? Yeah, that's Eddie, realistic. is that realistic? That's realistic. Uh, what can we expect from this Mesa team uh, this year? I know we're coming off back-to-back -back four win seasons. I talked to Lingy over there. Uh, what can we expect? Oh, we can expect a team that's very close, bonded together, and is going to be every, come to compete every play. No plays off this year. Numbers numbers are a little bit smaller than they are at some of the Chandler schools and stuff like that. You got half the half the size for yeah. team team wise. Um, what, what difference does that really make? Uh, we've we've lost a few players, and we just lost our coach, our offensive coach JT. And I feel like it's really brought everyone closer to know who's really right. Not JT because he got a promotion to go. Right, right, right. Hey, shout out to Junior yeah. Taylor taking yeah. the job over there at Wagner. Big things, big things popping. And he left 
He left the cupboard kind of full, and I heard you guys play some offense. He did. He left the cupboard. He he put us in a position to be successful this year. I really appreciate that. Sophomore, junior, and my senior season. Shout out to JT. Uh, what's it like playing for Coach Sikahema? Coach Sikahema, it's always going to be fun. And when the pass come on, it's really fun. But losing, you know, it doesn't fall well for head coaches. So he's a great coach to me. Yo, what do you like better uh, on the Scorpion, the R&B or the rap? The rap, the mob ties, nonstop. My skins fall into that category, very nice. So you guys return three on the offensive line. Um, part of what paved the way for Chris Jackson last year. How are you guys going to replace that and pave the way for the next guy to get close to 2,000 yards rushing? Our line is just going to have to step up even more just because, I mean, our running backs are still pretty badass, but you know, from a sheer numbers perspective, like, how do you guys look at, like, some of these other schools that are on your schedule? I know we three, you guys got chance. Well, we're just going to have to stick together and just play stats the whole game. So taking on all, all challenges, regardless of size. They said that Mesa's kind of on the rise. What can we expect this season? Definitely, the, our line's going to step up and just take over the whole entire region, I guess. How many pancakes you going to have? More than IHOP can produce? Yeah, way more. Way more than that. What can we expect from you this season? I know you got a lot to pick up because uh, you guys are losing Chris Jackson. More explosive plays, try my best, help the team out, and just grind. I'm thinking at least got to have like 50, 60 catches this year. More yards than last year, more catches. Grind, bigger season. And what's it like going head to head with super athlete uh, Eddie McClendon every day in practice? How, how does that make you better? Because I know that uh, the phrase out there is iron sharpens iron. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie's a great player. He pushes me to my limits. He gets me sometimes. I get him. We both go at it a lot. Just so we clear, that's exactly how I would have did you. I would have gashed that, this guy. Except I, except I would have picked it off. Gashed. Except I would have picked it off, just so you know. All just so you know. You could have had Joe Montana thrown to you. I, I, I would have picked it off. All right, man. So practice here was, was pretty dope, but the numbers look small. Like. It's, I just feel like, you know, it's so tough for these schools to compete, you know, in this 6A where you got the Chandlers and the Hamiltons that are like 90 players deep. But Chili, offensive line and defensive line for this Mesa team right now, watch out for these guys. They're pound for pound, the players out here that I just saw practice Chili, extreme strength and a ton of talent. And these guys have... And they got a pancake factory on offense. Oh, it is they got a pancake factory syrup on offense. Is, should be served all Extra butter. Extra butter. Great, well-coached athletes. Watch out for the Mason Jackrabbits.